Good day. The widespread use of plastic bags persists despite our awareness of their harmful environmental effects. People rely on plastic bags to carry items such as food and clothing purchased from stores. The scale of plastic production has surged drastically over the years, exemplifying our over-reliance. In 1950, global plastic production stood at a mere 2 million tons. By 2015, this figure skyrocketed to 448 million tons. By 2019, it further increased to 460 million tons. Projections suggest that plastic production will double by 2050. The consequences of this overdependence on plastic are evident in the alarming statistics regarding plastic waste. Annually, the world generates approximately 350 million tons of plastic waste. Merely 9% of plastic waste undergoes recycling. Half of the planet's plastic waste ends up in landfills. Each year, 1 to 2 million tons of plastic waste finds its way into the oceans. Today, we will look into the harmful effects of over-reliance on plastic bags on the environment and what can be done about this. The main raw materials used to make plastic bags are petroleum chemicals. These are fossil fuels, and they are non-renewable energy sources. When plastic bags are manufactured, harmful gases are released into the air. The finished bags are transported by truck. Trucks use diesel, and they give off poisonous gases and heat. So, trucks also add to the pollution into environment. Transport is a factor that we forget about when we think of pollution and the production of products. When plastic bags are not disposed of correctly, they can impact the environment in the following ways. They litter the landscape. The cause blockages in stormwater drains. The wind blows them into dams, rivers, wetlands and seas, where toxins, poisons, from the plastic get released. Animals can become tangled in plastic bags and drown. Animals sometimes mistake the bags for food and eat them. The plastic blocks their digestive systems. Plastic bags take many years to decompose or decay, which means that they contribute to the filling of landfill sites by adding bulk and volume. When plastic bags perish from the sun, toxic substances are released in row the soil. When plastic is burned, it releases harmful substances into the air, soil, and water. Toxic or poisonous gases from burning plastic can cause respiratory issues in animals and humans and contribute to climate change. Additionally, burning plastic leaves behind hazardous residues that can contaminate the soil and water endangering human health. Overall, burning plastic is highly damaging to both health and the environment and is not a safe method of managing plastic waste. As we have seen, plastics are made from petroleum chemicals. These plastics are used to make plastic bags that are thin and disposable. However, even when plastic bags break into smaller pieces, their particles continue to exist in the environment and in the food chain. How can we manage this plastic problem? These are some possible solutions to the plastic bag problem. Reducing plastic bag usage by educating the public about the environmental impact of plastic pollution. The public can also be encouraged to reduce their reliance on plastic bags through awareness campaigns and education programs. Increased recycling can reduce the plastic problem. Implementing and enforcing plastic bag recycling programs will reduce the amount of plastic that ends up in landfills and the environment. Waste sorting facilities can separate recyclable materials, including plastic bags. Promoting alternatives like reusable bags through incentives and campaigns can reduce the plastic problem. Biodegradable bags or other sustainable alternatives to traditional plastic bags is also another solution. Supporting innovation and research in developing alternative materials to plastic for bag production is also important. By implementing these solutions, society can work towards reducing plastic bag pollution and promoting a more sustainable approach to bag usage.
In 2003, the South African government banned the use of thin plastic bags, which were only 17 microns thick. A micron is one thousandth of a millimeter in diameter. To address environmental concerns, consumers were required to pay for plastic bags instead of receiving them for free. This initiative aimed to promote the reuse of old plastic bags or the purchase of stronger, more durable options. Thicker plastic shopping bags, measuring 30 microns, were introduced, along with a special tax on each bag sold. The revenue generated from this tax is allocated to recycling plants and research on biodegradable materials. One such biodegradable material is degradable to water, or D2W plastic, which breaks down into small molecules that can be absorbed by microorganisms, leaving behind only carbon dioxide and water, harmless substances. These bags offer an environmentally friendly alternative to thicker plastic bags. D2W is a biodegradable plastic technology that uses oxygen to change the structure of petroleum-based plastic, making it degradable. The process is faster than traditional plastic and the resulting material is biodegradable by bacteria and fungi in the open environment. Furthermore, fabric bags made from materials like cotton and hessian can be reused multiple times, providing another eco-friendly option to plastic shopping bags. Materials can be taken from an item that might have been thrown away, and then turned into new products. When this is done, an item has been recycled. This saves energy and raw materials. Logos that appear on plastic items are symbols that are used internationally and help us sort plastics that are suitable for recycling. The universally recognized recycling symbol consists of three circling arrows forming a triangle. It is often called the Mobius loop. This symbol indicates that the material is recyclable, but it doesn't guarantee that it will be recycled. Recycling involves various factors, including energy, technology, and resources. Another positive impact of technology on materials is the development of materials made from recycled goods. These materials are created by recycling and repurposing existing materials rather than extracting new raw materials from the earth. This not only reduces the environmental impact of material production, but also conserves natural resources and reduces waste. Recycled materials can be made from various products, including plastic, paper, glass, metal, and even textiles. For example, recycled plastic can be used to make new products such as outdoor furniture, building materials, and packaging materials. Recycled paper can be used to make new paper products such as notebooks and paper bags. Similarly, glass and metal can be recycled and used to make new products such as glass bottles and cans. New technologies have enabled the recycling of textiles and the creation of new materials made from recycled fibers. This is a way to reduce textile waste and pollution as well as conserve energy used in the production of new textiles. Mechanical recycling of textiles involves shredding or cutting used textiles into fibers, which are then spun into yarn and woven or knit into new fabrics or products. Technology has played a significant role in developing new materials and recycled products that offer improved performance, lower environmental impact, and more sustainable alternatives to traditional natural materials. The prospect of the new materials technology will bring us in the future is exciting. We have come to the end of our class today. Before we go, please study this question and answer it before the answers pop up. If you have any questions or suggestions, please do not hesitate to email us or comment in the comments section. Also please do not forget to subscribe so that we are able to continue offering these classes. Otherwise, until next time, keep well.